these communities taking their own precautions to keep safe tonight. ABC4 Jason Wynn spoke with family that say they will do all in their power to protect their homes and their livelihoods. Jason. The family is telling us there is a curfew in place and everyone is being encouraged to travel in pairs. This tragedy is one they never could have imagined. We're in intense shock and fear and this is one of the first glimpses we are getting where Renata Miller and her four children were gunned down and their car lit on fire. Donna and Christina are gone. They are not. They are dead. Family members so scared of more violence to come. We agreed to conceal the identity of one of the cousins that spoke with us. The town is just extremely sober and heartbroken and just it's just a tragedy. In 2018, Mexico saw 33,000 homicides. 2019 is expected to break that record. Where the massacre occurred is supposed to be one of the most dangerous areas in Mexico. Yeah, we, 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 we see the, the armed people all the time and they kind of just leave us alone. The families don't know what changed, but believe they were a target. One question on the minds of those in the community, do we stay or do we go? La Mora right now essentially has been compromised and so people would want to stay just to guard the land. Mexican soldiers are locking down the area. Snipers are in the hills and checkpoints are in place leading into the city. Here, the soldiers wear masks to conceal their own identities. If they secure it again and it's safe, the fam some of the families would definitely want to stay because we have all of our crops. We have pecan season coming up that needs to be harvested. The cousin we spoke with says everyone is on pause, but we'll need to make a big decision on what to do next. They might just camp out in LeBaron for a couple of months until things calm down. They might go work with their family that's in North Dakota. All right, Emily, we both talked to both of these families and, right. and they just picking up is just not an easy thing to do, especially because they've been there for decades. They are established. It's just very hard for them right now. An intensely difficult decision, too, though, because at this point, even with all of that in being considered, safety yeah. has to be top priority. Yes, it is. Right now it is. All right. Our thanks to ABC4, Jason Wynn. Well, family members telling us that they will lay to rest Christina Langford along with Renita Miller and her four children, including a set of infant twins. That'll be happening tomorrow. Stay with us on ABC4 News for continuing coverage of this ongoing situation in Mexico. And of course, for all of the developments in the investigation as it moves forward, we're here for you, both on air and online.